There's the news that many low income residents in the Fruit Belt neighborhood have been waiting to hear for more than half a decade now. The city of Buffalo is now setting aside some land for a so called community land trust. And our Emily Lampa has the details on this announcement. She joins us live from the Fruit Belt to explain. Emily. Scott and Mary Alice, people who live in this neighborhood, when they look down the street and they see that thriving medical campus, they see it for the good and the bad. Now the good, of course, those soaring property values. The bad, the soaring property values and how that affects high rental prices as well as high property taxes, which is why so many people with are hearing about this community land trust and are getting very excited about it. City administration starts setting aside land setting aside land you're hearing it first for the first land trust in fruit belt wow. wow buffalo common council president darius pridgen took to his radio program friday to announce the city's plan to meet this week to decide which lots will go to the community land trust and basically land trust means those lots which stay in the hands of working class and low income people. So whatever that land trust, the community land trust builds there as far as housing for 99 years, 99, 99 years, wow. it cannot be transferred like to, you know, wealthy people. It can't be sold to wealthy people. Pridgen says those lots set aside by the city would then be presented to members of the Fruit Belt Advisory Council on Thursday. I am terribly excited. These members, along with dozens of community members, have been fighting for this for about five years now. As a private, nonprofit corporation, the land trust would own the land while marketing housing to low and moderate income households and selling homes at below market prices. Right now, the rents in the Fruit Belt are $1,400 in some places, much too high for individuals for low income and uh, poor people to be able to to afford or moderate income families. It's still not clear which lots and how many would go to the land trust, but members of the advisory council say they hope the city's support doesn't stop there because they're not just looking for land, but financial assistance as well. We feel that what we're attempting to do is a value not just to the residents of the community, but to the city as a whole. It's going to be a big lift for the city. Well, the city of Buffalo owns about 200 vacant lots in this neighborhood, and I'm told, uh, according to this business plan submitted by the Community Land Trust, that those lots amount to about $106,000 in terms of how much it costs. Now, the Community Land Trust is hoping that the city will donate those lots, as well as other properties owned by the city, as well as subsidizing the first five years of their operation. Of course, that meeting with the city administration will probably decide some of that, but we're still waiting to hear when that will happen tomorrow. For now, Emily Lampa reporting live in the Fruit Belt neighborhood, Channel 2 News.